tonight's random TV chat is going to be about a really interesting, provocative Netflix uh, series. Um, it only has one. That's a good word. Yeah, yeah it only has one um, season, and it's called Sex Life, and it's sex slash life. Um, it's been out for probably about a month now. Really, really good. Um, there's a frontal nude scene, so it's good shit. Is monogamy possible in a long-term marriage or long-term like relationship if you are not into marriage but you want like a lifelong partner is monogamy possible i hope so i would hope so um for like 30 years like i mean you know like our age right now like i'm we get 30 in us we found them soon but like yeah right <laughs> and we live till 70 ish <laughs> Um, but, but like 30, 40 years with the same person. I mean, same penis. Yeah. So at this point in my life, mm -hmm. I am okay with the same penis. Yeah. For the next however many years I have. Um, I feel like Billy thought she would be too, but she wasn't. Because her husband stopped fucking Yeah, her, but so I also, happens? you know, and we talked about this in terms of their ages. I didn't take Billy as my i didn't take B billy as being in like her 40s i took billy as like being in her 30s and that's why she was acting so you think way. if she was I mean, in her I don't 40s think... she wouldn't be acting this way i don't know i just I feel agree. like i just feel like i don't i don't know i don't i per, if it were me i don't think that i would be reacting that way as a 40 year old i'm not reacting that way mm -hmm. as a 30 something year old me now i'm like all right TikTok. See, I'm, like i mean i do i think not that i don't think sex is important now because i do but i don't think that i don't know it's hard to compare myself and i'm i think because i'm comparing myself to billy the character in the show but that's like, i that's, don't that's what we're doing i that's feel what like doing. yeah i feel like i'm I would be using my words like it's not like she wasn't a know, good communicator. I, I, I don't think you know her issue was that she didn't want to be monogamous. I think her issue was that she wanted a healthy, intimate, passionate sex life, and she wasn't getting that from her husband. So when that's she the didn't case, ask for that. Well, that with her husband. That's that's not. I mean, that's not the question. Yeah, she didn't ask for it. Their communication was horrible yeah obviously if she'd used her words all along would we even be here at all right, right. would she have even written the diary about her right. sex life yeah so i think that you know taking that out of it because obviously if she just used her words it pr probably would have been a whole different situation anyway um i think that as long as she's getting everything that she needs from her husband she'd be fine i think the problem was she wasn't getting what she needed from her husband which made her start thinking about the things she could get from this other person mm -hmm. that still wants to give it to her oh yeah and, and he said he's like, a strange man uh, now it's like he's never her husband is never going to be able to 100 percent be what he was this man now is talking about marrying me like so it's like I Every, want he's basically presenting everything that she wanted from him at the beginning mm -hmm. and he needed to work on himself before he could be the man that she wanted him to be and it took eight years yeah um and so i mean for me i think that and i've had conversations with multiple people about this you know like human beings are the only mammals in our species that practice monogamy there might be like one other mammal that does it but it is not just because you get married does not mean that you are not physically turned on or attracted to the opposite sex if that's your thing like you can also be gay and married and you're attracted to the same sex but you're still like attracted you still might sexually like desire somebody else but i just feel like with marriage the expectation is you need to have some constraint um but I mean, I, I guess it is a long time, like 30, 40 years, like that's my life right now. That's a long fucking time to kind of hope that like this person that I, that, you know, I committed to 
at this time is still going to be the person and that I desire and want 10, 15, 20 years. And I don't want to kind of have a taste of something else. Keep my foundation here, but I might want to step. So I, let's take, so let's, how about this? What if we took sex out of this? Mm -hmm. And it not just be about sex because let's talk about being a woman. It's different. Sometimes yeah. you can be in a relationship like Billy mm -hmm. for different things, right? And maybe it, you know, the sex is fine. Mm -hmm. Sex is good with her husband. Sex is good with him. But it was the spontaneous lifestyle like that he offered like they could yeah. fly on a whim to Paris if they wanted or yeah. wherever they wanted to go mm -hmm. whereas she can't do that with her husband because he has this big busy job mm -hmm. that he can't just go away at a whim they have two children like but you signed up for this you signed up for this kind of mundane boring life yeah but to me that's and you part of the curves. the well, I'm not signing up at, for that. At 40, that's... Yeah, but what if that is what... I'm just saying, like, say say she did sign up for... Boring? Not boring. Say she did sign up for Brad. Mm -hmm. She might still be in the same situation with Brad eight years later. Yeah. Because now she's missing what Brad's not giving her that Cooper did give her. Yeah. This stable home that they can just do things with their family together... So it's like, what do you do? Like, and that was saying, like, like, I like, I like to, you know, go out and do things like dinner and blanc. But the guy I'm seeing that I've been with, that I say I'm married to, does not like social events. But did he like it when you started dating him? Yeah, but did he? What or if, yes or no? No, he didn't. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you can't what? get upset with him. Then you signed up no, for I this. Didn't. That's not the question. Again, oh. we're talking about monogamy. I okay. didn't say I was upset. Yeah, I'm just saying. So is it now wrong that I want that though? Because technically that's not monogamy because now I'm building an emotional relationship with someone that can go out with me to things. And but that's do kind things. of having Is an that... affair. You're having an emotional affair. So, so emotional affair as an sexual... old person, that would be probably, if I'm cheating, that's, that's the kind of cheating I'd be doing. But that's cheating because <laughs> for yeah. me it's just like, if if that if going to like social events and like doing that kind of stuff is important, you want to travel. Like why would you ever commit to somebody for the rest of your life that doesn't fucking want to travel if you know you like to travel yeah but let's let's be clear okay do you really think that the person that you end up with forever is going to have everything that you want not everything so that's but that's be... but that's the question about monogamy our question is about a monogamy what if they don't give you everything what if they're missing it needs to be small things that they're missing this is why i'm this like oh uh, yeah a small thing okay. but not like like I. So what are small things to you then? I don't know. I just things that I. Here's the thing. There's things that I know I like to do, that if someone didn't like to do it, it would be a problem. Like traveling. I can't imagine being with someone that's like not gonna want to like stamp their passport with me. Like right. what are we doing? Right. Um. I do want somebody. They don't necessarily need to be hitting the clubs with me because I went out recently and I'm too old for these streets. Like. The club is hard, but to go out for dinner, like, you know, hang out at a bar, like that. So what is the small thing then? I don't have, I don't know. I just, I think of the big things. So if, what about if you need the to mark the big, horrible, big, if all of those big things, he traveled with you and he went out to dinner with you and y'all had a great time when you were out. Is sex the small thing? I think sex is, no, I think sex can be like, te like a teachable. I feel like. Okay, so then that's not a, so that's not a small. I don't know the small thing. So I just then know that it doesn't make sense then. I, because sometimes you're not going to get all that in one person. Yeah. I mean, hence a lot of single people right now. No, but I. So and what about if they don't want to? You know what? I I think that good she luck to just. Us all, I think that like, I think that she had good sex. Like I think she had everything because it wasn't like she said she enjoyed sex with him. He just wasn't spontaneous. Yes. You know what I mean? And it's just like, that to me is a small thing. I don't need, spot. like, it doesn't need to be spontaneous. But that's not a small thing because that's a nothing to you. That doesn't mean anything to you. That's not a small thing. That's a nothing. Exactly. That's not a small thing then. That's not missing from your relationship. I just think that that's small. Like, if anybody just bought that up as, like, a thing they need. Like, that's... I don't know, it's silly. But I guess somebody could see like it's silly that you want somebody to travel. So I guess So you don't think that people are meant to be with one person, but you think that you should be in a monogamous relationship. 
Is that what you're telling me? I think that, that monogamy is hard. That's what I'm saying. Okay. And I think that but it is it. for sure. Because I think my fear of an open marriage is the other person falling in love with the other person that they're like having relationships with and like i'm left out in the lurches that's my biggest fear about an open marriage and and you think they're gonna loot you definitely um okay i mean there's lots of guys that like leave for their like you know secretaries did you not see dirty john and like the betty whatever story he fucking left her for his uh receptionist chick that's a true story and it's not rich people like it's a regular person and she went fucking crazy because she's like i just had four children with you like i helped you fucking pass the bar i put my life on hold and but you're gonna leave I think me also this happens michelle we're we're also talking i think and he made her sound like I she was should, crazy. Maybe I clear and she could have both of them. And now she's in when jail When we're for talking life. about these type of relationships and everything, because she, she's generalizing marriage, right? That's it's a, a true person. Story. Yeah, but they got married in their 20s. We are 20 years deep into that. These people divorced at our age because that's different from where we are now. A 40 year old person getting married mm -hmm. and then. De being married for eight years and then dating their secretary yeah you tell me a story you heard about that who always got married <laughs> at, at 40, 40 yeah and then decided oh no nah, i don't want this at 50 yeah and i want this other person like that or, that's different like i just feel like depends on when you get married yeah like 20 to 30 or 20 to 35 or 40 yeah. like that's a lot of growth as a person that's true so i think also when you talk about married. dirty dirty john like that was a whole he was a different person like he yeah. had different yeah. betty broderick or whatever i yeah, was like betty like, i understand why you killed him yeah oh shit <laughs> oh god we're getting so off off the sex life but i mean i'm keeping all this not to too. say yeah not to say that you know that's he deserved it. Yeah. And the girl deserved okay. it too because she fucking rubbed it in her face. What you're not going to do is rub your affair with my husband who you basically, maybe she didn't steal him, but still be a nice person about it. Um, yes, she did steal him. No, but I'm just saying like the young girl was very disrespectful to Betty. Oh yeah, for sure. Did you see it? No, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I guess we put that. So I guess my answer to monogamy is I is think monogamy it's- monogamy realistic? In a long-term relationship i think it it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of work i think it's realistic to answer yes would be my answer is I, think it's, I think it's realistic in a long-term relationship i think yes i think it depends on you gotta be strong what you're yeah you do just because you're married doesn't mean you like ooh, that guy isn't hot and what if he starts flirting with you but women are different, maybe. I don't, yeah, and I think that's the difference. And I don't there's think a gap in your marriage. I don't and think this it's person hard feels it. Take my but here's the thing, this is, this is why, this is how affairs happen. Because there's something, something small that's missing. And then you find, this person, they find the hole and they like go in. Mm -hmm. And you're like, ooh, this person's amazing. But they literally are just feeling this one fucking little thing. Yeah. And then it like, you just think that everything is yeah. great about them. I think we've, I, yeah, I don't know if we've reached a consensus. Well, you reached a I consensus. I said yes. And I, I think that it is realistic it, yes. if both people put in the work. That's the long schmeal. Uh, so. These drinks are good, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Lazy, but good. Is it? I drove to the ABC store. These are good for, like, pool. They are actually. That means I have two left. Woo. All right. All right, guys. Um, let us know your thoughts. Team Michelle, Team Tamara. Was there a team? I don't know. I feel like we disagreed on a couple. All right. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>